Hello students, here's a quick lesson on how to break down a script. I'm doing this digitally, which may not be the way you folks decide to do it. Um, you're definitely welcome to do this with a uh, pen or pencil on paper, uh, which is often how I do it if I'm in the process of shooting the film and I just want something quick and dirty. Um, I'm doing it this way just so that I can present it to you folks and you can see it pretty well. So our script is called Panda Bunny Dinner which this is uh, the rough draft of the script that goes along with the um, scene with the panda and the bunny um, dinner scene that um, I showed you folks in uh, one of your other lessons. I will probably change this and I actually plan on shooting this at some point, maybe using the footage I already have, but um, this will show you the process I go through in order to actually um, get the shot and get it from paper or from the page onto, um, onto the screen. One of the first things you want to do is give your scenes numbers. Now there's only one scene here, so that's going to be pretty easy. This is going to be scene number one. And once you do that, you can use that number in order to help assign shots to it. The next thing you need to do is figure out how many characters you have in the scene and what other materials you need. So we have at the beginning, we have Bob and Barb, so there's one and two. And then we also have Lance, who is a third character. So we begin with Bob and Barb sitting at the table, and that's going to be a master shot. So I'm going to call that 1-1, one, one, okay, because that is um, what is essentially the first shot of the whole thing, okay? And that is going to be, or 1-1-A one, one or something like that, some way to kind of, you know, show that this is the first shot of the scene and that it is going to be a master shot. So I'd write 1-1 uh, A master shot. So we'll take Bob and we'll make that the second shot of the scene. So we would make that 1-2 um, and that would be uh, Bob's medium close-up or close-up, whatever you decide to do. Maybe write that next to it. And then Barb is the next shot that you would have. Um, so that would be 1-3. Now, if you want to do variations of the shots instead of doing the same shot for each time, then what you would do is make it an A, B, or C. So maybe A would be um, a medium or medium close-up. B might be um, a, uh, a close-up. Uh, C might be one that has movement, so it might be a dolly shot. But the letters will help you um, differentiate. You'll know where they fit in the hierarchy, but the letters will help you know that this is a variation of what you were doing before. So it always helps if you use the A, Bs, and Cs because um, it gives you a little bit more flexibility, even if you're not doing a bunch of crazy stuff. So you go through and you take um, your characters and their shots and you just number them and you figure out how many shots it will take to go through that. Um, the way that you shoot it is not necessarily the way that you're going to be labeling it. So the shot order may end up changing, but it's always good to go through and assign numbers to each one of these shots that we have here. So if Bob is talking, there's one shot. Now um, we've got Barb's reaction shot. That would be another one. Barb's line, that could be a different one or it could be the same line as that. You'd be probably picking them up at the same time. Then then we've got Bob with another line that would be another shot and then when Lance walks in maybe we go back to a master shot again and then Lance has his own shot and then we're going back and forth between Lance uh, Barb and Bob until we reach a point where uh, Lance turns and runs back to the kitchen you may want to have another master shot here so you may want to, might want to label that as such and then we would have um, Bob and Barb talking again. We're going back and forth between those medium close-ups, so we'll mark those. And then um, we may want to do another master shot when we get to the end of this, whenever um, uh, Barb goes, uh, check please. We cut to a wider shot, and that might be a good way to, to end the scene the same way that we began.